Welcome in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, I do know you're probably having a hiccup because if you looked up this video, you're trying to drag and drop transitions onto a clip and you see right here, it will not work. For some reason, the transitions just won't attach to the clips. There's a super easy solution here and we're going to jump right into it. I was thinking about doing a super long intro, but I'll go ahead and skip that if you hit the like button on this video. Oh, thanks. Now I'll go ahead and get out of the way so you don't miss anything. Now, if you are having this issue where you're dragging over the transition, but you just cannot drop it onto the clip, super, super easy solution. Now, first of all, I'll just describe to you why it's doing this. Now, you'll have a clip probably, and this is most likely what's going on. There is no extra information past this endpoint here on either clip. So when you put them together, the transitions need information to work with. So the simplest solution, just cut a little bit off of the first clip, cut a little bit off the second clip, and then you can go ahead and drag and drop the transition right there. I'm just going to go ahead and control Z and go back to where we began right here. There's no extra information. Now, let's say right here, there's actually a clip with a boom, instant transition. So we don't want to trim off any of that clip. You can actually just trim more off of the first clip because that gave us enough information. Now, when you drag and drop the transition, you notice it actually goes over just onto the one side of the clip. It's because it's not uh, cannibalizing any of that clip's information. It's using the deleted part right here. So when it does go ahead, boom, it looks exactly the same. There really isn't any noticeable difference, but it'll just drop it on the one side. You can trim more off of the, the first clip or the second clip. It works either way. Let me go ahead and control Z back once again. And here we are. And there is a third way. You can go ahead and highlight the clips. You can either right click on the transition you would like to use. I'm using this particular blur dissolve as an example, but it works for all of them and click add to selected endpoint of clips and you'll pop up with this. You can do the exact same thing by having them highlighted, holding control and pushing the T key. You see it's the exact same prompt. Now, if you go ahead and click trim clips, it'll delete the minimum amount of each clip in order to add that transition. Boom, you see it happened right there. There is one downside to using this particular method though. It will add the transition to both the beginning and the end of the clips that you selected if there is nothing prior or uh, at the end of those particular ones. But that is one way if you want to lose as small amount of footage as possible. If this video helped you out, hit the like button and subscribe up for future DaVinci Resolve tutorials. Peace out and have a wonderful day.